Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to this gorgeous beach here in Southern California. This is Surfside, California. We're kind of sandwiched between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach. And man, I'm telling you, if you walk out here this morning and you don't feel blessed, there's something wrong. It is gorgeous, beautiful. The sunrise this morning has been absolutely gorgeous. And as you look at that water there, it looks pretty flat. Come on, man, we've got a lot to cover with you today on the morning briefing. We've got a spotter plane that just went up. He's looking for bluefin tuna. Yesterday, we'll have a report on what went on with the bluefin tuna. And we've got a report from the Royal Star already this morning. They're on some fish. We want to get you caught up on that. Of course, it's the Rockfish opener today. We have a special day at Santa Ana River Lakes coming up. A great raffle. We're moving up on 2 million views. All thanks to you. And, of course, we'll be covering everything in between including this rockfish opener this lovely April 1st, 2023. You know what time it is, my friends. It is time for a sip of this glorious coffee, and it's time for the morning briefing. Good morning to you all. Oh, so good, man. Mm, I'm going to hang on to this because I think I'm going to need a sip or two here this morning. It is beautiful gorgeous it belies what's going on offshore it's choppy weather it's choppy weather down the coast right now we're going to be keeping our eyes on that and so much more we have a raffle for a new pen fathom reel a couple of custom beautiful trout rods and lunch at santa Ana river lakes that's right lunch on april the 15th let me get you caught up with a few dates and uh get you caught up on what we're doing then we're going to dive right into the spotter plane and also the bluefin tuna info that is critical to your success out there first of all april the 13th we'll be at the redondo beach rod and gun club you see chuck's number there you can use that number to find out more information about attending that night as well as getting in on this great raffle that i just referenced a moment ago april 13th danny Cadota will be doing his show live at the redondo beach rod and gun club that's worth it right there to meet Danny, to see his show live. That is going to be a lot of fun. I'll guarantee you that. But backing that up, that goes on at six. And then backing that up, Bill Wilkerson from Horizon Charters. And Bill is such a great guy. He'll be doing a presentation on Horizon sport fishing. By the way, yesterday, Bill announced a 1.5 day Freedman Adventures trip. In August, out of San Diego. I don't know how you can beat that. Here's Bill. Hey, we're here at the Long Beach Convention Center at Bart Hall Fish and Tackle Show. Come on down. Book your reservations for the Malahini or the Horizon. Let's get this party started. Don't forget, we start fishing uh, June 2nd aboard the Horizon. We're on a two-day. Uh, the Malahini starts June 8th. We are on a full day fishing the Coronado Islands. We have one reservation for that June 8th trip. We are sold out for that uh, June 2nd trip. If you'd like to make a reservation or book a trip with us, you can go to either horizoncharters.com or malahinisportfishing.com. Question, when is the Freeman Adventures day and a half trip? Oh, forgot about that you one. You did. Oh, that's, number tri that's trip number 22 on the schedule, guys. Perfect. Uh, August 11th, we'll be leaving at 7 p.m. and returning August 13th at 6 a.m. in the morning. You better be there. Love you, Bill. Peace. Make sure you drop by and see Bill at the Bard Hall Show today. I'll be somewhere around there. I've been bugging Frank Yorsetti at the H&M booth. I've been all over the place, and I know so many of you will be there today. Please take the time to say hello and allow me to thank you. And while we're on the subject, yesterday was a great day at the Bard Hall Show. Got to meet so many wonderful people who went out of their way to come by, and that means the world to me. So. Thank you for doing that, my friends. Thank you for tuning in to the morning briefing so often. Thank you for being a Patreon member for as little as five bucks a month. You can help us produce more content. There's the QR code. There it is. There's the QR code for you. Um, just scan that with your phone right now. Become a Patreon member and you will have my gratitude forever. All right, my friends. Um, once again, there is Breaking Bluefin Tuna info here this morning let's get into it first of all yesterday those wily bluefin gave us the slip it was slow we didn't see much fish and when i say we i'm talking about the fleet didn't see much fish at all guys are scratching their head 
And so this morning, we have boats that have fanned out into several different areas here on this April the 1st. So we have fish, out, or we have guys out to the west looking where that spotter plane is going to be working in tandem with those guys. We'll see how the Pacific Queen, the Pegasus, a couple of other guys who've wandered off into a new area to check it out. And we'll see what happens there here today. Now, the Royal Star is down below Colinet. Now, Punta Colinet, for those of you not familiar with the geography, Point Loma, San Diego is where the sport fleet leaves from. That is 120 miles down to Colinette. Some guys, incidentally, are fishing yellows there this morning. I'll have an update on that. So it's 120 miles. The Royal Star is below that. So he's down there in that 130-mile area right now. He's got 22 bluefin tuna on the boat. So we're already back on him, and hopefully it's going to continue to bite. It's been a night bite for the most part. I mean, the Polaris Supreme did have a stop for nine, six days ago, or whatever that was. So daytime fish. So um, there's been some daytime fish caught, but really iffy during the daytime. Very difficult. And so you need to be gauging your trips if you're jumping on a trip right now with trips that maximize your nighttime fishing, at least for now. That's what you want to be doing. Knife jigs have been working 250 grams to 400 grams. Fish very in depth. There's been a lot of fish taken in that 300 foot area, that colored line, ISO line that Wendy shared with us just the other day is essential because there's no guessing how deep you are. Every 100 feet, the line color changes, and so you know exactly where you are. A guy says drop 400 feet, you go four colors into it, you already have in your head what color is the 400 feet. Go down a little bit deeper and then wind back up through it if you don't get bit on the sink. And essential to your success is when the captain says drop, you drop. Come on, you got to get on that. I mean, guys like Joe Martinez, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Grace. Um, those guys are dropping. They're on that rail. They're not screwing around. They're all business during that time of the night when you're fishing that. They're sleeping during the day when it's not biting. They are all business at night. The captain says drop. You're fast. You get down to the right depth, and you're fishing with the right gear. I like 130 pounds. A lot of this fish right now, 40 to, let's say, about a buck 70, but... We're going to see some 200-plus pound stuff here very, very soon. And that bite is flux in a state of flux right now. Down day yesterday, looking around. Royal Star's already got fish spotter playing up. Things are looking pretty darn interesting right now. Now, folks, once again, today's the Rockfish opener. And as you look here, I think the local bite's going to be really, really good. As you get out further, it is choppy. No question about it. You're going to have some winds up there in the 15, not even a little better than that. Depends on where you go and where you fish. Some guys actually threw the towel in on the bite, but boats from San Diego all the way up to the Channel Islands are, of course, fishing on that rockfish. And it's nice to have that open again here today because that just opens up so many more options and it gets so many more boats out there looking around. So, that, of course, is really great news. We'll have updates on that. These colorful, great-eating rockfish are really essential to the Southern California sport fishing fleet because you always have that to fall back on. You can go fish sea bass. You can go look for bluefin. You can do all that razzmatazz, but you have that rockfish to fall back on, and that is fantastic news. Down there around Ensenada, they have their weather up a little bit today. There hasn't been any bluefin in any great numbers taken anywhere near there. It's been down below, as I mentioned, Colinette, and even further down than that. However, we are seeing stuff. Last spring, we had bluefin tuna and great weather on the 302 to start our spring off. So we're a little spoiled. 302 is very close to San Diego, and it was excellent fishing there. But this year is different, and it could be that 8-degree discrepancy in water temp. Last year at this time, water temps were eight degrees warmer, so you would think that the fish are going to move around in that warm water. The guys that are out, Pacific Queen and those boys, are finding that warm water edge, surmising that's where the bluefin will be. We'll probably get some confirmation here a little bit later with the spotter playing up, so that should be interesting. The Ensenada guys, I'm talking about my Pongaro friends down there, continue to catch rockfish, a few yellowtail here and there to the Santos Island, right off of Ensenada. There's been a few yellows along the Punta Bond area. We see some yellows in Big Bonita. Offshore Bonita are fairly prevalent right now. 
And of course, down further, 140 miles, San Cantin area, San Martin Island, and down below, we've seen some really good yellow fishing. There was a great yellowtail bite going on at Punta Colinette. I told you I'd get back to that. Um, down there at 120 miles. Uh, many of the boats are down there taking a look at that this morning. So hopefully they'll get that to bite again. And I mean, some severe conking, like the Liberty had limits of big 15 to 25 pound yellowtail biting the yo-yo iron. That was the day after St. Patrick's Day. And then we were cursed with a bunch of bad weather. I should say, right after that, the Polaris Supreme was down there with Paul Fanning. And uh, he was on board that trip. And he was shooting me some beautiful photos of some gorgeous fish. So they had an excellent bite down there. Uh, but that's been a while since we've had that kind of fish. And we do have some coverage today, so we might see that bite. Remember, yo-yo iron, 50 pound is what you want to fish. 40 pound if you must. 100 pound if you're crazy like me. And a yo-yo iron, you sink deep. Why not it fast? And uh, you set the hook by turning the handle. That is definitely the way to get it done. All right. Um, along the beach, as I mentioned, we had been fishing that wintertime bass kind of calico and sand bass and sculpin and, and whitefish and sheep's head so that's not a part of our past necessarily but the rockfish just opens up so many other opportunities 22nd street landing last night in beautiful san pedro california it looked crazy i mean every single boat is off the docks today so that is really fabulous news there's some good bar perch fishing going on up in the santa monica bay region Bar perch move around, so you got to kind of follow, but there is some excellent conking going up there. There's a little bit of yellowfin croaker in here, an occasional halibut also. Another grunion run looming here in the future. It is closed season now, so keep your grimy hands off those slippery little devils. But they still act as a magnet. They're still wonderful to take the kids out to see and enjoy. And by a magnet, I mean they're going to attract predators in here. Guys fish bat rays, guys fish halibut. Yellowfin croaker, eat them. I mean, you're throwing a Lucky Craft lure, and you're not only likely to catch a halibut, but you could catch a leopard shark, bigger barred perch, yellowfin croaker. Man, I'm telling you, we're starting to kick things into gear, and it's gorgeous here this morning, as evidenced by that beautiful sunrise. So there's some surf fish going on also. All right, Bart Hall show today. Only two more days left. I'll be there with the sign man. Greg Bates. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you think I'm crazy. Some of you are absolutely right about one of those two things. The crazy part for sure. All right. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, I wish you a great day. I hope you're going to get out to the Bard Hall show. I will see you there. I'll be wandering around. Make sure you stop me because it means a lot to me. Two million views. I never would have thought it would have been possible when we started this thing two years ago. With zero subscribers, almost 7,000 now, and 200,000 hours of content consumed by you, man, it means the world. All right, so don't forget, April the 13th, Redondo Rod and Gun Club. Come out, see Danny do a show live, and Bill Wilkerson. That's going to be a lot of fun. If you can't make it, I'll be live streaming it all for you right here on Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. And then also, April the 15th, We'll be at Santa Ana River Lakes. Now, you've got to buy your admission into the lake. But once you get in there, you can find us, the Redondo Beach Rod and Gun Club guys, and Friedman Adventures. We'll have a table set up. We'll have Daiwa rods and reels for you to try. Knot tying for the kids. Trout fishing for the kids. Lunch, if you buy a raffle ticket. You get a $10 raffle ticket. And lunch, I don't know how you can beat that. You can go send Chuck a text right now. Just do it. Wake him up. And, and if it's during the daytime, he's likely to be asleep anyway. Just send him a text and say, Chuck, please send me some info on the raffle. And I'd like to attend April 13th. How do I do it? They put on a great meal also at those events. So it should be really, really fun. Oh my God. Here comes the Pelican Patrol. There's a whole bunch of Pelicanos flying up the beach here. Looks like they're going the other way. But they're definitely looking for bait or fry or something like that. That is always a really good sign. All right. Send you all my very, very best. Thank you for being a Patreon member. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to be here today. And I will see you a little bit later at the Bard Hall Show. Spotter playing up. 
Bo boats are out in different directions, scouring, looking for that bluefin tuna. Let's see what they do. I'll have some more updates for you as the day goes on. One more. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Frank Murata here with Daiwa, and we're at the Bart Hole Show, Long Beach, and we're asked to share some stuff about what's going on here and some of the latest and greatest stuff that's come about. You know, we've started something years ago with what we call the Lexa 400, and it came about that this got so popular that we started expanding the system. So this one has bronze gears. We went one step heavier, and we made now a reel called the HD. The HD, which is now smoother, has stainless steel gears. Where have you ever heard of a reel that had 26 pounds of drag? Incredible. So now we've been living with this. Well, for 2020, 2022 to 2023, we came out with something even better. And that's going to be the Lexa T-Wing. Now, with the Lexa T-Wing, this is still the Lexa 400, but there's one big difference. When you had performance problems with trying to cast something and you were all the way over on this side, you found out that when you put it in a free spool, you never got the same distance because you had resistance coming from the guide. Well, the T-Wing just changed the whole game. So when you have it over on this side and you open it up to free spool, look what happens. Now you have less resistance. So now you're getting performance out of a reel no matter where it is on the spool. If you're looking for a reel that has more power, this has got 28 pounds of drag, you want distance all the time and gaining extra 10, 15 feet, Lexa 400 Win TW is the one you want to get. Come on down to the Bart Hall Show. Check it out. We've got free deals with all this stuff. Right now, what we're going to do is if you buy this here at the show, we're going to give you line to put on with 50-pound braid as well as this kind of jig. And there's other deals that are also taking place. So see you guys down here. Come on down. Enjoy the Bart Hall Show. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, everybody. This is Phil Friedman from Friedman Adventures. And you are looking at all of the goods that we are shipping across the border destined for the island of Cedros, where many of you have fished before and had such wonderful experiences. The people there experienced a hurricane last year and they need our help. That's why we're sending thousands of pieces of clothing, wheelchairs, crutches, books, soccer uniforms, sporting equipment, and so much more. And of course, we're sending it with a whole lot of love. I mean, Guys in the fishing industry on this side of the border in the United States have come together at 22nd Street Landing. Diego Nuno, who is a deckhand on the Royal Star, he's receiving all of this in Ensenada. And then Diego and I are going to move it down to the island. So many people have helped out, including all of you who have donated clothing and other goods, as well as participated in our GoFundMe fundraiser. We do need your help. This is going to cost over $4,000 just to move it into Mexico. That doesn't count running around for an entire year, picking the stuff up, storing it, separating it into men, women, and children. We've been doing that for an entire year and storing it at Gallagher Staging, thanks to Joe Gallagher. So many people have come together. So if you can, if you could go to our GoFundMe page and make a donation, it would be sincerely appreciated. Thanks again, everybody. This is our way of thanking the wonderful people of Mexico for allowing us to fish and have so much fun on the other side of the border. Fishermen coming together in the United States and reaching their hand across the border to help. It's a beautiful thing, and I thank you all so very much for making it possible. So this is Danny Cadota. This is not Danny Cadota. Yeah, we're just making sure we get that straight. <laughs> There's this rumor going around and people walking up going, Danny, Danny, Danny. <laughs> not Danny. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> All clear. Hey, Danny. Oh. <laughs> not Danny. Not Danny. Here at Long Beach Convention Center at Bart Hall Fish and Tackle Show. Come on down. Book your reservations for the Malahini or the Horizon. 
let's get this party started. Don't forget, we start fishing uh, June 2nd aboard the Horizon. We're on a two-day. Uh, the Malahini starts June 8th. We are on a full day fishing the Coronado Islands. We have one reservation for that June 8th trip. We are sold out for that uh, June 2nd trip. If you'd like to make a reservation or book a trip with us, you can go to either horizoncharters.com or malahinisportfishing.com. Question, when is the Freeman Adventures day and a half trip? Oh, forgot about that you one. You did. Oh, that's number tri that's trip number 22 on the schedule, guys. Perfect. Uh, August 11th, we'll be leaving at 7 p.m. and returning August 13th at 6 a.m. in the morning. You better be there. Love you, Bill. Peace.